everybody, welcome to my channel, I'm Alex, today we're doing, um, Inktober. So, this is gonna be the first long video for Inktober. This video will contain day one to day three. The, as you can see, the sketches are already complete. If you'd like to see me speed do these sketches, you can check out the YouTube Shorts section of my channel, because that's why I'm posting the sketches every day. So here for day one, the theme was dream. So I thought of a girl dreaming of love. So the flower in, in, in her hand, she's been ripping petals off it, doing that he loves me, he loves, loves me not thing. So the initial plan was to do grayscale with one pop of color because I want to practice using black and white because I do not do that ever. And I absolutely love color, but I do think that black and white art looks nice, I just can't control myself and make myself do it. So, we started off with gray hair, because uh, I don't really know why. It was gonna be black, but we're gonna darken it later. So I decided to darken the shadows underneath the hair, and here is where I'm dark, dark, darkening the hair to be the color that I actually wanted it to be. Um, this person is more of like an African American person, so later I turn their, their skin gray just to, you know, actually make them not be stark white skinned. Um, here I'm mixing up a very muted red color. I see a lot of people use it and I wanted to try it. I didn't really like it, but I kept trying to go with it anyway. Like I was thinking, maybe I just need a shade more. I don't know. And then I was like, maybe, maybe my one extra color could be a pop of red, but the pop of red made the dress look even more dull. So I used a napkin to pick up as much red as I could, and I decided that purple is a more dreamy color. So I made the flower petals purple. Still trying to keep the dress that color, but I didn't like it, so I changed it. Here, what I'm doing is, for some reason, the paint was bleeding out into other colors. So I had to dry it up and then try to go ov over it again. Okay, so here I'm mixing up the, the gray that I used for the skin. I really liked that. Um, I added some shading. And I made the lips more of a reddish color. And here I, 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 I realized I needed to just make the dress a very light purple. So I took some water and some purple and, you know, made this color. And now I like it a lot more. And I took my gold paint and now I'm just adding a background on it. So that's pretty much all I did for day one. So you can just vibe to the music and while I finish. Okay, now here we're starting day two. So, day two's theme was spiders. Um, of course, I don't want to draw spiders, so I was going to draw Spider-Men, um, like a whole group of them, and I was like, wait, I have my own spider Sona, so I decided to draw her. I drew her hanging upside down. Um, again, the initial plan was to do a, a grayscale with just her vine being in color, which I know you can't see the vine right now very well, because it's just not... Um, obvious yet but you'll be able to see in a second but um i decided that i really wanted to keep her colors so i did i looked on google and google says that watercolor paints count for inktober and i've been seeing a lot of other people use them so i'm not really gonna shy away from color too much but i do want to actually get better at black and white art. That is one of my goals for Inktober. I want to get better at doing cleaner sketches and I want to get better at black and white art. So here I'm adding all the base colors for um, my spider sona that still has no name. I never named her. But um, now, oh yeah, as, as you can see now, you can see the vine. Now you can see the vine. Um, my spider Sona doesn't have web powers, she has vine powers. So instead of her shooting a web, she shoots vines. 
So I gave her a little bit of a different hair color than I did originally. But it's pretty much the same. I just don't have that many browns in this new watercolor set. I had to get a whole new set because I ran out of black. And since I wanted to really challenge myself to use a lot more black and white, I needed some black. Um, but you see I'm not using it that much yet. But don't worry, my, my black usage will increase. So here for the background, I wanted to make up for my not usage of black. And my mom had the great idea of putting like a gradient from like gray to black behind her. So that's, that's what I did and it came out awesome. And then after I finished this, you'll see I bordered it in some gold slash bronze colored paint. And that was pretty much it for day two. Okay, so now we're here at day three. Day three's theme was path. So initially this waterway, you may not be able to tell, is a waterway. was supposed to be a pathway, but it came out bad and I really didn't like it. So I turned, turned it into water. And I was like, I just put water here so I can put a bridge because a bridge is like an elevated pass, kind of. So that's what I did. I drew a bridge. And of course I drew some trees, the waterway to go underneath the bridge. And I really love how the details on the trees came out. I really love drawing the very like detailed trees that either like twist and turn or you know just have a lot of those lines in it. It was very very fun to draw. Now we're moving on to the painting process. Um, I initially started shading with like gray just to see if it would show up through the other paint. It kind of didn't work. It kind of did, but it, it was much weaker. So I probably didn't need the base shading. But oh well. You live and you learn. So um, in the holes in the tree, I added a lot of black or gray. And then I mixed up this greenish blue color that I intended to use on the bushes, but somehow like forgot and used it on the trees. So, but it actually looks nice. So I'm actually very happy. This was a happy mistake. And I also used it as the base color for all the bushes and stuff. And then I added a brighter green on top just to make some differentiation. And for the water, I'm making it blue, of course, so that's the color of water. I decided I wanted it to be more dull, but I didn't mean for it to be black. Um, but I accidentally didn't water down the paint enough, so it was black. I picked all that up with, with a paper towel, um, but it looks good to me like, at that moment, but then later I just decided it was too dull, so I went over it again. I made the bridge gold, so I wanted to include gold in almost every drawing. And I was really feeling the blue vibes, so I made the little diamonds on the bridge blue, and I gave the bridge a little blue border. And yeah, I really liked that. I'm adding in like the grass and stuff, and then I was like, hey, I need to spread the blue out because it's all con concentrated in one spot. So I put little clusters of flowers, I guess is what it is all over the painting and then you know completed the ground i guess <laughs> i don't know i'm struggling with words for the sky i was still liking like the purple vibes from day one so i went with a very light purple for the sky and i really liked it but then i decided that i needed to add a light blue on top just to kind of make it fit in more with the rest of the painting. But that's pretty much all I did for day three. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you'll be back for the rest of Inktober. Thanks for watching guys. Bye!